After a venerable 16-year NFL career where he was recognized as a top special teams player, Fred McAfee deservedly awaits his induction into the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame. But he has a confession of sorts. As a student at Philadelphia High School, Fred could better tell you the inner workings of a robot than he could about the football team playbook. I was a manager on the, on the sports teams at Philadelphia High School since I was like sixth grade, you know. I used to up every, every radio with, that we've ever had, I think I busted it open and tried to d dissect it and do stuff with it, you know. Used to be in the, you know, like the Japanese, you know, like kind of Godzilla stuff, but except it'd be uh, a robot in a space suit, you know, it was crazy. I was confused about football for a long time. My brother Cleveland can verify this, you know, but when I was in the, I was in the sixth grade and I, you know, and uh, Cleveland asked me what was I going to play on offense. I said running back because all I knew was Marcus Dupree. You know, he plays running back. That's what I want to be. I want to be a running back, you know. And then he said, oh, okay, what you going to play on defense? I said, running back. I didn't understand the difference between offense and defense. So <laughs> it was running back. It was in my blood, you know, kind of thing. Sports is big in my hometown. And uh, being an astronaut, not so big. <laughs> While he may have believed it was in his blood, the head coach needed more convincing. I actually got like a little taste of it my my junior year, but it was really my senior year, really, you know, uh, I was a kicker, <laughs> you know, and uh, on the team, I wasn't, a, I wasn't a field goal kicker, I was a kickoff kicker because I couldn't put it through the uprights so I tried to save my life. It was, it was terrible at that, but I could kick it off though. And, uh, but basically it was uh, Neil Hitchcock, you know, we had a lot of guys get hurt. And uh, basically I begged him to put me in the game. Please, just give me one shot, you know. I was in a band before that, you know, so. You know, I played the drums and the trumpet, you know, I was, since I was in the sixth grade. So, you know, I really wasn't a natural athlete, I, I feel like, you know, I've had to work my way into that. He probably saw the potential in me because my brothers were like superheroes. And then you got me as super zero, you know, so he said, maybe he might develop into something. I don't know, but I begged him enough. So he put me in the game and then um, basically went to the state championship, you know, uh, played right at Newell Field. Uh, we played Bassfield. Got beat 28 to zero, but you know, it's a great, you know, I had a great experience. Fred McAfee would go on to have other great experiences at state championships, this time in track. And just as it was in the football career, it was a dubious beginning. Coach Hitchcock sent me over to the, he basically said, who wanna go do the pole vault? And I raised my hand. So my job was to go there and knock the crossbar over three times because that might've been like eight track teams at that particular meet, but only three had pole vaulters. So if I just went over there and just run through it, I could have got some points. But I ended up winning, you know, the first time I ever tried it. I was the only guy to clear the height, seven feet. <laughs> seven feet, right? He might not have gone on to become Mississippi College's most prolific running back, running for 4,416 yards and 38 touchdowns, had it not been for the Choctaw's all-you-can-eat ice cream bar and Friday steak night. Now my sports team, college team was Southern Miss. You know, I don't care who would have recruited me, I'm going to Southern Miss, I don't care what nobody say. So, but actually Alvin Kidd was a graduate assistant at Mississippi College, a family friend, he's from Philadelphia. He basically said, uh, Fred, give Mississippi College a try. And I said, I've already been to Ole Miss already for a visit. He said, no, <laughs> not Ole Miss. I said, I said, oh, I've already been to Mississippi State already. So you can, he said, listen, you ever heard of Boston College? I said, yeah, Mississippi College. I said, oh. <laughs> so basically he got my mom in on it and they said, Fred, you want to, Fred, just go down to Mississippi College and give Alvin a try, just see what Mississippi College is about. Now this was crazy now. So we go to, go to Mississippi College, right? for a visit, it's a Friday, it was steak night. Now, to be honest with you, I had never, had, I had never eaten a steak, not, not a real steak maybe, I think it might have been, I've had hamburger steaks before, but you never, you know, chopped chop beef or something like that, but never steak like that, right? It was big old giant steak. I said, boy, that was delicious. So I ate the first steak, he said, boy, he said you want another one? I said, come on now. No, he said, stop joking. He said, 
Yeah, it's all you can eat. I said, hold up, it's all you can eat steaks? He said, yeah. I said, wow, okay. I said, what about that ice cream motor? He said, that's yours too, if you want it. After that, we went to the football game and uh, we went to a little party or something that night. And then uh, after, the, after the little party, we stopped at Domino's and uh, we got two pieces. I ate both of them by myself. And I said, basically, where do I sign? I'm coming to Mississippi College. <laughs> After leading the Choctaws to a national championship in 1989 and setting multiple records at MC, Fred was drafted by the New Orleans Saints in 1991. In 2002, he was selected for the Pro Bowl as a kick returner. 